Oh, excuse me. I I moved my chair and made noise. Oh, you got something on your chin there. Oh my gosh, I had stuff on my chin. I had dog hair on my pants. Good morning. I have my cup of coffee. Look, I stopped. He's back. He's here. I'm here. He's I've been here. here. Been in the neighborhood. I know. Well, you gotta come here more often and be on, live. Be on TV. Um. Life We've missed him, haven't we? Life changes. Life changes. Constantly. It's dynamic. I, I'm dynamic. You're yes, dynamic. Yes, it's always changing. Um, I, I've been talking about life changing. Yes, you have. <laughs> he has. There was a moment there when I was um, in my twenties, uh -huh. um, and I, a I, long, long time ago. <laughs> but in the distant past. Uh, ordained when I was twenty-five. Were you? Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Twenty-five years old. And I was preaching, trying to, 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 uh, and yeah, offer this wisdom. Mm -hmm. as, you and, as you do. And I had this idea that, at that time, that I wanted to be like my parents. Mm -hmm. When I looked at their lives, at where they were at that stage, but they were in their 60s at the time, mm -hmm. or, or late 50s. Right. And um, I said, I want to be right where they are in life. Oh. Because... It's just, that's where you were yeah, going to get. just was life. That and was then the I realized their life was changing constantly. Mm -hmm. And when I realized their life was constantly changing and continues to change, they're now in their mm -hmm. 80s. That's how it always is. Right. Yeah, you and never so, sort of reach a place and then you're done. Since the last time I've been here, there's a lot of things that have happened. Yeah. In your life, my life, your life. Mm -hmm. And, um... But, but we're delighted that you're back. Well, thank you. You want to play here. a game of chance? A game of chance? You pick a color. You pick one of these colors and you take all the dye from that color. All right. You pick the color I like. Oh, then you can have this color. No, that's okay. Right. I'll do the green. It's Halloween. I'll be the green one. I like the I Halloween like thing. I like this color. It's, it's, like my, it's the color of my shirt almost. Yeah, okay. And Howard Johnson's, incidentally. <laughs> You know, which which is funny because like the colors from Howard Johnson's in the eighties were really really embarrassing. And there was a comedian, who's the comedian that did um, Alice Ann? Alice Ann. You remember on um, Laughing? Oh yeah. What's her name? Ruth. Ruth Buzzy. Ruth Buzzy. No, was it Ruth Buzzy? Yeah, it might have been. Anyway, she did a whole shtick in the eighties about how obnoxious the the Howard Johnson's colors are. Um, <laughs> turquoise and orange, and how? Who would have picked that? That's well, I don't like the orange but you know part. What? That's hip again now. Those are really cool. Like the turquoise, turquoise blue green. Tur Everybody's wearing it. Oh yeah, man! It's the color. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So what you do anyway is you take these and you you keep flipping them, and when you see um, the same number come up, you save them, and then you keep flipping until. So you need to be the first one that has all the same numbers. All right, go. Let's go. Oh, man. oh, oh my gosh. Did you do it? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I got fast. I got, uh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I have two more to go. I only have two more to go. Are all those fives up there? Yes. I have one more. One more. Come on. Come on. I have a three. Come on. One. A six. Oh, oh I'm going to say. Did you swear? I did it. No. I did it. That's no fair. I was like almost there. And you the did whole it almost time. at the same time. Oh no. No. Keep going. Keep going. We'll wait for you. To there, I got it. That was fun. A little moment of madness. But it's chance, right? It's just luck of the throw. There's no skill involved in that. Except, I suppose there's skill if you can be <laughs> fast. Like if you're fast at throwing them and scooping them up, yeah. that, then you would be more skilled. And they were both fives. You got fives, That's I got fives. That's both went with fives. Okay, let's do the next color. Let's, let's make it be fives. Gosh, it's so... Ready? Okay. Ready? Go. Fives. Fives, 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 fives. Um, oh, wait. Oh, I'm going to do... Um, oh, you're not doing fives? No, I'm going to oh. do sixes. And, uh, oh, my Lord. 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 Oh, uh... He's praying. Pray. Jesus pray. will help me get the right numbers. <laughs> I have a friend who says every time something good happens, like a parking spot, uh -huh. Jesus it, it, likes Jesus me. Likes I go, that. well, Jesus liked you before you got the parking spot. I'm, and does I hate that mean to that tell you. you don't get a good spot, parking spot, Jesus doesn't like you? I know. That's what I keep asking her. She says, well, I guess so. 
And uh, That's an oh my word, video. I'm down to one, y'all, and she's gonna beat me again. I know it. I'm down to one, one, one. That was a six that just moved. Um, five. Did you just cheat? No. It. It. I hit it. I've gone with the fives. Oh my I gosh! I went to the one. six and and <laughs> four, one. Ah! Did it? Nuts. Did it? Did nuts. it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Nuts, did, nuts. it did it? Five, six. So, yeah, I'm still rolling for a five here. I'm rolling for. I got it. Okay. I. Do you know why I bought this? Seriously, because of the colors of the dice. They are kind of pretty. I just like the pretty colors. I do too. Um, colors are pretty. Colors are pretty. I read this article. Again, this can be too long and boring for people. I read an article about a woman who, instead of having three cones in her eyeballs for color, has four. So she sees shades of color that other people can't see. Wow. Yeah, so like when she sees a green tree, there's like purple edges and turquoise edges, and she sees other things on leaves and stuff. This might be a stretch, but... We were talking a little earlier about how people see us. Mm, yeah. And they sometimes uh, see things that aren't there. Yeah. They sometimes see things that they believe that's not anything part of, you know? Is yeah. that a stretch? I don't think that's a how stretch. Explain what? I think that perception and sight, ah. and there's sight that we literally see, and then there's perception. We see stuff about people and about perception. relationships. Perception. Yeah. That which would be in, the word. Which, which is interesting because I can't remember. Oh, man. Okay. In Greek, the word for sight is blepo. 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 And I remember that because I like saying it. Blepo. blepo. <laughs> yeah, I remember that word. And then, yeah. and then sight that is often translated in the Bible as sight. Uh -huh. But it's really perception sight is orao. I like blepo Ra better. Well, blepo sounds nicer, but blepo is literal sight. Like, I see... Um, I see uh, a jack lantern. Okay. Right? But if okay. you were doing the arao, you'd say, I see a symbol of people trying to make meaning of life and death at the time of year when everything's dying. And so they have created um, images to, to, um, to put that fear right there so they can touch it and talk about it. Right? So, mm -hmm. so, that, so, so the jack-o'-lantern can just be a pumpkin that's been carved in a vase, but it can also be a symbol of how we, in the darkness, face the abyss of darkness. Wow, right? that's right? deep. Yeah? That was so, a, yeah, that was deep. So there are deeper things about me, deep. and some people see only some things about me. Mm. Yeah. We're yeah. doing some of that in the larger church yeah, right now, are. talking about... What people perceive. I guess we've done it always. It's in so the church. much more It's so much more intelligent and longer when you were here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're ready because when it's me, I'm just like, wow, look, look at all the newspapers that I never read this week. Well, wow, like, yeah. So. I think it's just trying to figure out what this is and where we are, and mm. so to say, life changed. Um, life changed in a big way for me in what's happening at the church that I serve. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. Don't get people thinking. Oh, no, it's all good. Change. It's really good. It just got really, really He's busy. busy. He's too busy for his friend Janie. No, well, maybe, I don't know, but it's just busy. And then the other thing is, you know, because I celebrated here when I got my doctor of ministry and became a doctor. Still hadn't gotten the stripes on my robe, whatever. I might just put, uh, I might just uh, put uh, duct tape. That'd be good. You know, That'd be good. Just to be different. Yeah, duct tape. And, um, but I've also started um, writing pads. <laughs> <laughs> I also uh, but I was going to propose that since you're so busy that you, you're maybe not able to be here every morning but maybe some mornings you can still come back so maybe we'll have a Blake day <laughs> yeah like we like we tried having a like we tried having a flip-flop day we'll have a Blake day okay okay all right we better get going then but uh, what we did say is that God loves you no matter what even if you get a bad parking space or even if you don't roll a five. <laughs> God loves you, and God loves you And too. God loves you and even you know if what? people see yeah. just one part of you. And, and yeah, How, if you're perceived or if you're seen by others, mm, God sees and perceives you in the way that you totally are and loves you just as you are, just like that. And knowing that 
gives you the ability to uh, to provide that for others. Yay. Bye! Bye, Blake. <laughs>